$5 Games presents Trine. This is a physics-based puzzle platformer where you can swap your character at any place, any time. The story begins with the tale of an old king dying and his kingdom falling into ruin. Undead armies have invaded, and yet an unlikely set of heroes have accidentally gotten their souls chained together by an ancient artifact. A thief who was trying to steal the artifact. A wizard who's into women and noticed that the thief was a female. And a knight who's like, don't touch that, and proceeded to touch it. There's also a narrator combined with each character's voice to help carry the plot. Altogether, it's a pleasant, low-stress experience. Each character has two actions, along with extra abilities that you can unlock along the way. The wizard can conjure boxes out of thin air, as well as use telekinesis to move objects. The thief has a bow and can grapple to wood. The knight has a sword and can block. A little on the short end of the stick, but still rather useful. Like other physics-based platformers that I've played, there are different ways to solve each puzzle. And ultimately, it seems that both the wizard and the thief can solve 95% of the problems by themselves. However, apparently in the three-player co-op, all of the characters are present, and therefore you need to work together to get the knight to where you need to go. Still, it's a bit on the easier side of puzzle games, at least as far as the beginning goes. They also allow you to walk off an edge and jump in midair, so it's also fairly forgiving as far as a platformer goes. So overall, if you haven't experienced a physics-based puzzle platformer game, I think this is a great introduction. Or if you're on a date and have a third wheel that you want to drag along for some reason, that works too. The game will simulate what you're going through in real life. Subscribe, I do five games each week until I get to 100 videos. That's a wrap for this game. Consider picking this game up instead of a balance instrument.